I'm John Demesi Mande, Professor of Small Animal Surgery and the current Dean, Faculty of Veterinary Medicine of the University of Nairobi. Welcome to the University of Nairobi Open Day. And uh, in particular, I would like you to pay attention to the uh, veterinary uh, programs for which uh, we are the only university, the only faculty in the uh, country that over the years that has been uh, producing and uh, training veterinary uh, doctors uh, in the uh, Horn of Africa and the continental Africa. Now, why do you want to consider uh, training for uh, veterinary medicine? First, you need to um, ensure that uh, you uh, get a, a, at least a C plus in biology, a C plus in chemistry, a C plus in either mathematics or physics or agriculture. In case you are not able to uh, obtain this, uh, we also admit students with the A-level qualifications as long as they have those uh, subjects that have been uh, listed. Other undergraduate programs for which uh, the faculty offers include the BSc in Wildlife Management and Conservation, the BSc in Fisheries and Aquaculture Management, as well as the BSc in uh, Leather Science and Technology. We have uh, postgraduate programs that are offered across uh, the faculty, uh, right from the Department of Veterinary Anatomy and Physiology, which offers the Master of Science in uh, Comparative Veterinary uh, Anatomy and Cell Biology, and the Master of Science in uh, Comparative Animal Physiology. We also have PhD programs for the same uh, MSc uh, courses. In the Department of uh, Animal Production, we have um, three uh, postgraduate programs, including the MSc in Animal Nutrition and Field Science, the MSc in Livestock Production Systems, as well as the MSc in Animal Genetics and Breeding, and uh, corresponding PhD programs uh, for those courses. In the Department of uh, Veterinary Pathology, Microbiology and Parasitology, we have two MSc programs, the MSc in uh, diagnostic, uh, veterinary diagnostics and uh, laboratory techniques, as well as the MSc in uh, veterinary pathology, microbiology and parasitology. We have the Department of uh, Public Health, Pharmacology and Toxicology, which offers four MSc programs as well, including the MSc in uh, pharmacology and toxicology, the MSc in uh, Veterinary Economics and Epidemiology and Economics, the MSc in uh, Veterinary Public Health, and MSc in Natural Products and Bioprospecting, and corresponding PhD programs. In the Department of Clinical Studies, we have uh, four MSc programs the Master of Veterinary Surgery, Master of Veterinary Medicine, a Master of Therogenology, as well as the MSc in uh, Wildlife Health and Management and one PhD program in clinical studies. The faculty uh, is endowed with a high caliber of uh, uh, academic staff, so far with uh, 23 uh, professors, as well as uh, senior lecturers and uh, other highly qualified staff. We, we attract at the moment uh, students across the uh, continent of Africa, uh, currently, the largest number being from Eritrea. We also have a number from uh, Somalia. Uh, but in, across the East Africa region, we have uh, students from Congo, we have students from Uganda, students uh, from Tanzania. We have students from uh, Namibia as well as um, Zimbabwe. We have also previously uh, trained students from South Africa, uh, Ghana, Nigeria, and so on. So the international portfolio for our, our postgraduate programs is uh, attractive and is uh, one that we want to encourage uh, applicants to come for. The interesting thing that we have observed in the recent past is that the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine has continued to attract um, highly qualified undergraduate uh, students. We currently have um, 120 first years, we have 120 30 second years, 110 third years, 
and we are looking to graduate uh, in the fifth year program uh, uh, 97 students uh, as it were. Now we also do have uh, specialized facilities. We have the one and only veterinary teaching and referral uh, hospital that has been accredited by the Kenya Veterinary Board where we treat, uh, train and treat uh, small animal pets, dogs and cats, we treat horses, we treat cattle, as well as other production uh, animals. We have a specialized diagnostic equipment including the um, digital x-ray, we've got the ultrasound, we have uh, hematology analyzers and so on. And then these uh, specialized labs uh, are across the public health, uh, animal nutrition, as well as um, uh, microbiology. We have attracted uh, partnerships across um, uh, the board. Uh, at the moment we have the uh, uh, innovation um, laboratory that is uh, funded by the USID uh, Feed the Future program. We have got uh, support that has come in to uh, provide research uh, that has on a grant that has been won by Professor uh, James Nguhi Mwangi uh, to assist in the research on uh, Wasingishu disease. We have got uh, funding that has come in to support the program by Dr. Uh, Lawrence Bett uh, to support the, the use of the black soldier fly as an alternative source of nutrition, but which uh, program also has uh, opportunity for biomolecules uh, for uh, medical purposes. We have got a partnership with NADEPA, which is really an association that is uh, partnering with the University of Nairobi to deal with issues that um, are, are surround ethnomedicine, uh, traditional medicine and uh, practices using herbal plants and animal products. Um, so therefore, the research portfolio continues to grow within the faculty and we have partnerships with institutions such as ILRI, uh, we have partnerships with CALRO uh, and uh, mainstream government uh, corporations such as the Kenya Veterinary Board um, as well as the Ministry um, of Livestock and Fisheries uh, Development. And so as we uh, celebrate and uh, continue to uh, attract uh, attention of uh, um, our partners, we have uh, a framework in which we uh, partner through the collaborative agreements uh, where within uh, this framework we are able to engage and clarify the aspects and activities for which we, we seek collaboration. And this um, does not uh, limit ourselves to uh, national organizations, but we also have international collaborations uh, across uh, Africa, across uh, Europe, and uh, as well as the USA. And so, um, therefore, as I conclude, I believe then that um, among us, the faculties that one wants to consider um, attending and getting engaged in, uh, consider the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, uh, which offers a broad range of uh, disciplines and enables one to be able to make a diagnosis of uh, more than seven different uh, types of animals, uh, from dogs, cats, uh, cattle, uh, sheep and goats, uh, camels, uh, horses, donkeys, uh, those are the domesticated animals and then uh, you have the wide spectrum of wildlife animals that actually uh, uh, we say that you can actually come and uh, be trained to be able to manage uh, these animals. Um, I would like to appreciate the contribution that uh, we have of the various leaders of the faculty uh, management committee. Uh, in the Department of uh, Veterinary Anatomy and uh, Physiology, we have Professor Andrew Makanya, who is the Chair of the Department. Uh, Professor J Joseph Owino Junga, who is the Chairman of the Department of uh, Animal Production. Professor um, James Mbaria, Chairman of the Department of Public Health, Pharmacology and Toxicology. Dr. David Karanja, Chairman, Department of uh, Veterinary Pathology, Microbiology and Parasitology, and then Professor James Nguhi Mwangi, who is the Chairman, Department of Clinical Studies. In each of the departments, we have thematic uh, leaders or course leaders 
and, and indeed to get more details we invite you to visit our website where we have not just these uh, individuals profiles but also the uh, admission criteria for the different programs that we offer in the faculty. Thank you very much uh, and welcome to the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, University of Nairobi.